Adjective placement. A journey through the syntax jungle. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going on a deep dive into the wild world of English grammar, specifically focusing on adjective placement in sentences. Understanding where to position adjectives in your sentences can make a massive difference in how well you communicate. Stick around to the end for some practical exercises that will help you hone your skills. Let's start with the basics. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, giving us more information about them. They might tell us about a noun's size, color, number, quality, or type. For instance, in the sentence, she read a long, boring book, the words long and boring are adjectives, providing more details about the book. Generally, we place adjectives before the noun they modify. This is known as attributive position. For example, he bought a red car. Here, red is an adjective that describes the car. Sometimes, however, adjectives appear after the verb, especially if the verb is a linking verb like be, seem, or feel. This is called the predicative position. For example, the car is red. But English being English, there are exceptions to these rules. Some adjectives can go either before or after the noun, but the meaning might change. For instance, the present king, the king who reigns now, versus the king is present, the king is here. When we use multiple adjectives before a noun, there's a typical order we follow, though native speakers often do this without thinking. The order usually is quantity, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. Example, she wore a beautiful, long, old, French, silk dress. Now it's time to practice. Exercise 1. Put the adjectives in the correct order. 1. I bought a Italian old beautiful villa. 2. She owns a silver small Japanese car. Exercise 2. Choose the correct place for the adjectives. 1. I met a woman. Interesting. 2. The soup tasted delicious. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try creating your own sentences and pay close attention to the adjective placement. That's it for today's deep dive into adjective placement. We hope that this guide helps you navigate the exciting syntax jungle of English grammar with more confidence. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll master the art of placing adjectives perfectly in your sentences. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and, most importantly, have fun with English.